And I'm curious about how we de-risk in an environment where there's not a lot of forgiveness. And maybe you could also comment if, if you can on how you can create more forgiveness in the environment. Yeah, I, I think you're, you're spot on. And I, I think a lot of people get, um, I don't want to say lack of lack of courage, but they, they're 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 sensitized and probably oversensitive to the risk because you're if if you are breaking things, part of it is you know working in an, in a culture that that expects that. So I think I was fortunate in that. The other one is sort of um, showing the homework and showing the diligence. Um, mm. you know, I think it's it's you just can't you know, be risky willy nilly. You've, you've, you've got to align your stakeholders. You've got to bring them along the way. Um, you know, the, the, one of the big risky things we could talk about little, little, little later was when we eliminated out of network benefits and yeah. it took a long time to get the business stakeholders aligned. The first time you say it, you know, everyone, you're like, Whoa, you know, you create, but having a deep understanding of what was happening, having a deep understanding of the numbers, having a deep understanding of kind of, here's the process that we're going to follow. We're going to communicate. Here's, we're going to how, handle exceptions. Here's how we're going to handle this. Um, sometimes, you know, things are so wacky. You, you do them in pilots. So that's a little bit more manageable. It's a little bit safer. Right. Uh, Make it sort of constrain the, the universe of what could happen or what yeah. will happen. Yeah. And making sure you do them. Um, and I, uh, there's a, a gentleman we both know who taught me this one phrase, doing it in the rhythm of the business. Mm. And so, you know, at certain parts of the business, they're super stressed, they're running 90 miles an hour. Well, then you don't pilot it during that period of the year, but you find right. it. Right. So sort of making sure you've got um, kind of your stakeholders aligned, you understand the process. And if it goes wrong, I've had things that have gone wrong, but if you're, if, if they've been aligned and sort of part of that decision-making along the way, they own part of that as well. And, and so if you go through and look, you know, all the lawsuits on due diligence and, you know, fiduciary liabilities comes down to not necessarily what the decision was, but how you went about making the decision. And I think that's important here. If you should have show the due diligence, that it's not reckless. It's a calculated risk. It may go wrong. You understand the right. And if it doesn't go wrong, what's the end? Okay. That's really been helpful for, you know, at least in, in, in my history of saying, Hey, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be perfect every time. Um, but yeah. I wasn't reckless. <laughs> I may have been, you know, I may have taken a risk, but I wasn't reckless.